All right, uh, we're going to move on. Uh, Shakir asks, this is a question for Justin. I hate the Fine. Re- <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I hate the Legion of Superheroes, at least with the Teen Titans and Young Avengers. You know where they are initially headed, the Titans, Nightwing, etc. With Legion being set 1,000 years in the future, what is the end intent, and is it worth reading whether or not you like the writer? Because I don't see it, and big ups to Pete. Well, yeah! What? Let me, that is awesome. Let me take your letter in two parts. Um... The se- second part first. Big ups what, to Pete. What about, what about big ups to Al? <laughs> yep. Yeah, this letter is a, a subtle takedown. The Flaming Z. Uh, the big, flames. Never give big ups to Pete. Uh, <laughs> it's a dangerous thing to encourage. It only makes him want to do uh, crazier things. Grow his beard longer and, and such. <laughs> and buy more Wolverine one shots. <laughs> if they're going to come out with them, I'm going to get them. Uh, why, you are really why stop a, a did you get the, uh, Did you get the David Fitch variant of Ultimatum? It was $125. I, you know what? I was like, hey, how... Oh, no, I'm not going to get that. It, what was it, Wolverine? No, it was no, the, no, him it was on David the throne. Fitch. It was him at the throne on a white background. Yeah, Maggie yeah, I think I should pay less because there's less color. No color. Yeah. It's cheaper. Mm. Um, um, it anyways, to get back to this, uh, <laughs> I think she brings up a, uh, a good point. Yeah. Legion <laughs> is kind of a, a sad uh, state of affairs. Like, there's just too much going on. You can't get behind it. It's Why? Why do you say that? Because I, 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 there are too many characters. There is too many characters, and you can't keep track of them all. And they you all can't. They usually, they usually name them. Yeah, they Here's do. Here's the thing. Uh, it's... It is, it's, it's a tougher title to write because there are so many characters and it's very specific. It's like, these are teenagers who are dealing with being a teenager. Like, it's such an issue. Why don't you break it down or just do like a couple at a time until, you know. I mean, they do do that. The different issues focus on different characters. The latest arc has been kind of terrible. Ever since uh, the new, like, Jim Shooter took over is terrible. Um, and even the Mark Wade stuff was putting it in, pushing it in a new direction. Yeah. But, uh... It, it lost its plot, kind of. But as a concept, it's great. It takes place in the future of the DC Universe, and so there's a great uh, historical reference that they're always doing as characters thousand years in the future. Um, and if you want to go back, the Legionnaires title from, like, mid to late 90s was great and really was, like, a hype. Here's, here's the problem with Legion, at least in terms of being comic book fans. Uh, since it's set in the future and it's so malleable and it's changed so many times, it feels like it doesn't matter. And what I think comic book fans across the board want, or at least think they want, is for stuff to be important to continuity. Right. Um, that's why something like, you know, when you look at Marvel's titles, that they can't really sell an all-ages Marvel title, but they can sell something that they're like, oh, it's in continuity, but it's for all ages. Yeah. That same thing as uh, Cable, I would say, sitting right over here. Uh, Cable... It said in the future, it doesn't matter as much, but you have flashback scenes that are taking place in the present right. with Scott Summers and Emma Frost. They Suddenly it matters to current continuity, which is a very smart thing about this series. Well, I think uh, Jeff Johns loves the Legion, and he's yes. using them a lot and tying them to continuity in a very real way, and I think he's trying to make them relevant again. I mean, when the Legion was first came out, it was like super relevant. It was Superman, Superboy kind of becoming Superman and like a great, a big coming of age thing for him. Um, and everyone's trying to make that homage happen. But what are you saying to her? Because she's clearly saying that this this blows, <laughs> and there's, uh, you know, what what should she do? Uh, well, you not don't, pick it up. What should you do? Yeah, <laughs> you don't you don't have to buy it. I'm just trying to tell you. I mean, you like you're saying you like Teen Titans and Young Avengers because you kind of understand the grounding. And I think to Alex's point, yeah, they're very present. They're part of this universe. This, I mean, it's. I like the characters and I like the stories that go around them. So I like, think that's, that's why what I like it comes down to is. If you like the stories, read it. Uh, I would recommend, I've said this before when we talked about Legion, uh, the first two volume of Mark Wade's run, I think yeah. it's very good and very grounded in current real life, which yeah. is nice about it. Um, so pick it up right out. The, right the Legionnaire's title from back in the 90s uh, it was drawn by the Dodson, so it's fantastic yeah. uh, art along with good stories. Um, and the Jeff Johns' late, recent Legion work has been great. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I would just say not bother. Uh, there's a lot of Wolverine titles out there oh, that are man. really you good. Become, you have a question right as <laughs> You've changed. You are you have changed. Really? Really? I, I think you stayed the same. <laughs> Here's the thing. Shot he was always a fan, but he was kind of like, yeah, I'm buying all these Wolverine titles. Now he's like, that's right, more Wolverine, more one-shots. I don't care anymore. It's called Feeding the Beast. Yeah, you're like an addict. Yeah, I do so have a comic book problem. I have a huge comic, comic book problem. problem. <laughs> I have a comic book problem, but there's not enough comic books for me to read. <laughs> if you have a question, write us at the comic book club at yahoo.com. You can comment below, subscribe, tell your friends, upload a video or something. Call your friends on the phone. Yes, check out our blog at popcultureshock.com slash cbclub. And if you're ever in New York, you should come visit us on Tuesday night in New York City at the pit, 8 o'clock. Yeah.
Cool. <laughs> True. Or you can listen to the podcast. Or uh, you can come and talk to us about comics. What? In person. Yeah. There's options. <laughs>